All right, scientists, in this video, I want to show you how to graph something using Desmos. So what you can see here is the walking ninth grader template. If you click the link in the how fast is the ninth grader assignment, you will see this. Over in the left hand side, you have a description of what the abbreviations for the variables stand for. Time equals average time and distance equals D. Underneath that, you have a blank data table. You are going to enter in the left column the average times from the class spreadsheet for this type of motion for walking, and then the distances that we measured the times at. Okay, so I'm going to enter the distances first. We're going to put zero. The first distance was six, then 12, then 18, 24, 30 and 36 okay now clearly at time zero we've gone nowhere so the distance is also zero and according to my spreadsheet at six meters 3.99 seconds has elapsed and at 12 8.18 so i'm going to put those in there now to 3.99 seconds to get to six meters and 8.18 to get to 12 meters back to my spreadsheet 12.37 and 16.53 are the next ones 12.37 and 16.53 and as you can see as i enter that data on the x y axis on the right you can see the coordinates appearing okay and if you hover your cursor over the coordinate or click on it it will give you the actual data point so the first point says that at 3.99 seconds the walker had traveled six meters all right so let's get the next couple of data points in there back to my spreadsheet it took 20.45 seconds to get to 30 and 24.94 to get to 36 20.5 and 24.94 all right that's all the data okay so by entering that data into the table we've got our x y coordinates on our axes and now we're going to use one of the coolest features of desmos we are going to add a line of best fit using what is called the A slider. So underneath the data table, you can see here, it says A equals zero, okay, right here. And then it has underneath that a dot, which is a slider. If you click and drag this, it does two things. It changes the value of A and it moves lines across, across your axes. Your next step, is to match one of those lines to your data. As you can see, looks like the best fit is the red line. Okay, so now we have a line of best fit. If we scroll down in that left column, we'll see as well that each of those lines corresponds to a specific equation describing the mathematical relationship between the variables, okay? So you can see that those equations are also color coded to match the lines. And the red equation right here, D is equal to some number A, that's the A value, multiplied by T goes with our data. That means we can get rid of the other lines and equations, the blue, green, and purple by clicking the X to the right like that. Leaving just the line that fits our data. One more step. This slider will add uncertainty bars and our uncertainty was 0.69 seconds. So I'm gonna slide that till it says 0.69. And you can see we now have uncertainty bars on each of our points. And that is a graph. I'm gonna go up here. I'm going to save my changes. Now note, you cannot save your changes until you have signed up or logged in. If you open Desmos and you've never used it before, there will be a button over here that says sign up. 
You can click on that. It'll prompt you to click on some boxes and sign up with Google. That's what you want to do. Accept the privacy agreement. And then once you've done that, you have a save button. And behind these three bars will be all the graphs you make online with Desmos that you can access later. Okay. Now, one last thing before we're done. If you want to put this graph into the assignment or any Desmos graph into any assignment, here's what you do. You go over to this curved arrow to the right of your name. That's the share graph tool. You click on it. You click on export image and it opens up a new window. You're going to take your cursor and put it on the graph. And then if you're using a Chromebook, do a two finger click on your trackpad. That opens up a menu. You pick copy image from that menu and copy your graph and then paste it right into the assignment. Okay. Hope that helps.